21 years now, the 6 a.m. business. What time do you get up typically? Oh, um, usually 4.35. Wow. You guys are just going to sleep. Yeah, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tea with Teachers. I'm Sina, and I'm here today with Professor Wesley Harris of the Aero Astro Department. So you mentioned your uh, your pet dog. Yes. What was his name again? Whistler. Whistler. Uh, he's named after the artist James Whistler. The Golden Retrievers are just very friendly dogs. They love people. They love every dog. Every person, every dog they've ever seen, they fall in love with. If you pat him on his, on his head, you can do, he'll do anything for you. I think more <laughs> students know Whistler in Newhouse than, than they know who is head of house. So. You did your undergraduate at UVA? Yes. I arrived, or was sent to the University of Virginia because of the project with the Cloud Chamber, having earned or been awarded a third place in physics at the White Conference held on grounds at the University of Virginia. And Mrs. Washington, Eloise Bowles Washington, my physics teacher, never forgave herself for the project coming in third. And the reward was, or the solution to this problem, was that I had to go to the University of Virginia as an undergraduate. And she said, I must go for two reasons. First, I am clearly a black person, and anyone looking at me would identify immediately that this is a black person. And second, uh, to make a mark against this challenge of our generation, which Mrs. Washington explained, to prove to whites that blacks can produce absolute scholarship. So what would you say is the biggest success you achieved during your undergraduate career? The biggest is clearly meeting, introducing, having a conversation with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, he delivered a, an address in Old Cabo Hall on grounds. His physical stature was impressive. A very modest built man, uh, solid for sure, extremely strong eye contact, uh, a sense of purpose radiates from him. Just a person um, that was for humanity is how he came across to, uh, when I met him. Do you have any uh, place on campus where you find yourself spending a lot of time other than your office or, or your home? A new house, building 33, third would be disease center. Mm -hmm. Do you, I'm assuming you exercise there, weight lift or swim? Um, or? Uh, and squash as well. Uh -huh. yeah. There are some gym rats we assemble around 6 a.m. in the mornings. 6 a.m.? Yeah, yeah. Is it you and other professors? Uh, or students? A couple or? of fat. Uh, no, no. Rarely do you see a student. <laughs> there, there are a lot of uh, senior guys. Do you have a favorite country that you've visited? Zambia. One of my sons, my number four son, Colomo. Uh, I didn't know this. My wife, his mother named him. Uh, there's a city in uh, Zambia named Kalomo, K-A-L-O-M-O. -O. How many children do you have? Six. Oh, wow. That's a big family. Yeah, I'm a dinosaur in that sense. <laughs> No, I think that's really cool. <laughs> I have three, uh, two sisters myself, and even finding uh, everything is built for families of four, typically. <laughs> you know, you go on a plane, it's like two and two, or you go to a hotel, <laughs> it's like two beds. So I've always been restricted to the floor, <laughs> sleeping on the floor, or having to sit in a different aisle. So if you could give any wisdom to an MIT student or maybe a college student in general. Cherish your gifts, develop them even more so, but please share them. I, I think it, what it means to be an adult uh, in today's world uh, is, is sharing your gifts. It comes down to service. It, it, it manifests itself in many ways. Uh, one way that's impacted me is what I call the, the round table, in which all stakeholders are at the table. All stakeholders are equal distance from the center, meaning they're all equal. We're all there to do one thing, to contribute, to enhance humanity, to make the community stronger. 